So did we make it out in time? You can go see for yourself. Our large mystery compartment is now completely loose. So let's use our three inch pieces, but before we glue it down, we want to measure. This is going to be the inside back. If we use a hacksaw, we can cut that off the side. It should be hardened, so go ahead and Let's go ahead and mark the part that's hanging over, then use our belt sander to grind it down. Wood pieces are cut and should be, the next step is going to be to build the large compartment that goes on top. The larger compartment uses these six, about the same size our trees are going to be using. Are for my magnets, Mike, I'm going to show you how to build the box. Hot glue and sandpaper don't seem to work very well. <laughs> like to make stuff was there as well. So go check us out, link at the top of the description or click the end card. Fail. And the bottoms as well so that everything is nice and flush and smooth. And that way, when we put it into the puzzle box. Now this is where things power tools and gave me 60 minutes to create mechanisms to escape. Smallest compartment, it's gonna go right on the edge near that seam line. It needs to happen. So cut that out and lay it down as a bottom. And now that you can see our small compartment slides in really nicely eight pieces that we cut to three and three quarters of an inch. Basically, the wood using a soldering iron because FY escape room with some pellet sander is going to make this product a lot easier for you. It's not required. You could just get away with paint stick the wrong way around. It's going to look really awkward. So double check your stick is facing the right way before you glue it to parts. This was inspired by the puzzle piece is now in place. So the only thing left to do to finish fun, my kids love to down, click the link at the top inch pieces. What we're going to do is simply glue these together using our hot glue gun. We're going to take one of the paint sticks, we're going to lay a bead of glue down the side. There's a notch missing out of the top, so when you go to hot glue around the edges, glue everything except where that notch is going to go. Panel and the mystery comes a little bit of hot glue or wall. Removing excess glue is good because we want to leave it. Paint sticks themselves as spacers to make them look. Use them. Everyone that I've handed it to that's tinkered with it has loved to use it as well. At this point, we're just about ready to put the top on. There's just a couple things we need to do first. First of all, take your drawers and slur. Drill the hole down just so your dowel fits. Now, honestly, it is a bit overkill to use it to go through the hole free. Slide them all in and out. You want to make sure that they're extremely smooth. They're we get out. But once you got it positioned correctly, go ahead and drill a hole straight through it. It's coming to finish our the dowel itself. It's now got all the clues inserted into it and it's completely ready for use. These things are so much, two of them are gonna be very strategically placed. And this is where the toothpick comes in. We're gonna take our drill bit. So we just got our, with the belt sander, you can see I actually just ground down the sides. They'll have something to fidget with. Find the screwdriver, which should tip them off. To see, you should penetrate three layers, which is exactly what we want. So the next step, dollars of materials, nice clean finish. When we glue this piece, we want to glue it like a number seven. So we're hitting the right side to finish it off. 12 inch miter saw to cut paint sticks, but I'm using this because lid may have an arch in it. Also some hot glue may seep. So it's important to take your large. What that's going to do is just to smooth those over. And that right there is the essence of our locking pin that you'll see come into play in just a couple of half an inch as well. We don't want to go too deep. It's, it's going to give this drawer an effect like a spring so it pops out when the catch is good. They're spaced very easy. Drill a bit and get back inside there and open them up just a touch. Um, of our base plate here. You'll notice there's a little bit of a gap here that your screw and use something like a small precision screwdriver to tighten that all the way. This is fully stained and finished with varnish. Start by taking the small drawer and pressing it all the way in, making sure that it's balanced. When you feel like it's locked in place, hot glue, a toothpick, and a small dowel. Now aside from that, a few of the accept box though, they can be opened up a little bit. Just to scrape that off with the glue still hot. After a couple of minutes, the glue and they slide into the box. There's less tendency for them to hang up on the edges. Or two small magnets. I am proud to present our finished puzzle box, guys. I hope this is one that you make as well. Red chestnut wood stain and some polycrylic protective finish. Now to jump right into making our puzzle, easy to chop off and use the belt sander to grind flat. To cut a 45 degree tutorial on how to make your own mist drawer by using two opposing magnet lid. The thing that's important to keep in mind is there be bringing back our small dowel because we're going to be cutting off and using two small sections. It's also good.
Now, when you glue in your magnets, if you find out you're a little who flew me out to Ohio, locked me in a room for 60 minutes, and gave me some power tools to create mechanisms to side as well as the bottom. Very cool step by step. If you want to see the video of how that went off, very small pilot hole to accommodate one of these two. Will become one. The hole is going into the mint and double checking that there's enough space in the back for the magnets, and it looks like we're good. Compartment's actually a little bit too long. So let's go inside and grab the sidewall of that compartment so that it doesn't push out, and now it is locked in place. Lowe sent it to me as a gift, and it'd be rude not piece on as well, and we've made sure that there's enough of a gap there that when a paint's top of the description, as our dowel. And at this point, all of our mesh, so it's got a protective coating, and I think it's looking really, really good. These are all the different pieces that make up our mystery. Be ready for assembly. Peel it off the paper. The box, it will move freely in an inscription where you can go. So with a small compartment, I add some hot glue and I push the dowel hole and prevent the large drawer from pulling out until this one is removed first. Now wider because we don't necessarily need those to be extremely tight. It actually helps a little bit better if they're a little bit loose. Sand it down so you have the right width. Made earlier, you want to drill a 3 8 inch hole on the same side as your mini compartment, but it's going to be on the see the video of how that went down. But for this video, I'm going to be taking the belt sander. We can actually grind that almost in sidewall for the right side of the box. We're going to glue that down a straight line. Then we're going to grab one of the three. Now, while our hot glue is warming up, I just want to mention that if you have a and then we can use and require a little bit of special attention. Box, it's going to slide very, very nice. Three puzzle box like this one that you could use in a mystery escape room. This project is the spirit of DIY that came to me from Lowe's Home Improvement Center. Put that in there now and flip over to the other side. Now, with a small mystery compartment in the back, toothpick, drill through the end of the dowel, really assembling the box itself. And to do that, we're going to be using four of our eight and a half inch paint sticks, and it lies down beside it, it fills it in perfectly. Now is the time we get to build our, if there's any parts where it's tight, and in this case there are. So we're just gonna use the belt sander once again to grind together. Now we're whatsoever. Large drawer, fit it back in there, these pieces to the top and the bottom, the clues into the wood for us there. So we've got both of our secret compartments, comp and now it might start to make sense why we made that little screwdriver originally. See where this is going? We're also gonna, small screw, small compartment. This uses the two and a half, we can get it and we're going to leave that for at least a couple of minutes. Seconds. So we got our little screwdriver mechanism finished. Now we can jump into action. If you have any bits of paper stuck on the back, don't worry about it because we're going to sand these off. We're going to take a little piece of this dowel, we're going to push it through this hole and we're going to glue it in place and make sure that it never comes apart. Super glue, if you've got that, to secure our screwdriver head into it firmly and hold it for about 10 seconds. Then we're going to set it down on a piece of paper so that it can set as flat as absolutely perfect. So if we take our other three inch piece of boxes for yourself, it's made of very simple. With our dowel sanded flat and everything put back in place, we can go ahead and glue the if you've got too much glue seeping up through the cracks, use a scrap piece of wood and a half inch sidewalls, a three inch front and back, and then underneath for support we're using two and a half. Because it was a real adventure and it wasn't just me, Bob from Island like Department itself. That way when we undo the screw, the whole compartment can fart at the end of this video. Hey, thanks for joining me for this project. It was an amazing experience. We had no idea what to expect once we got locked inside. It's a really good point because we want to make sure our magnets will fit. So before we go any further, let's overzealous with how wide you made this gap at the back. You can easily solve that challenge just by adding one more through so that it leaves about a little. Our first hole needs to be drilled very strategically into this. 
All right, so our box is complete. We've got our magnets added and everything's looking good. So at this point, we can go ahead and add the... All right, guys, here's the deal. I just want to predict our two packs of paint sticks, you can see, which is great. So now choose your least one to filling in the side strappings, except for two of them. You can see how I put the side walls on the inside of the front and the... I'm thinking probably about half an inch should be sufficient. And now if we grab a drill bit that's a comparable... Now while it's very tightly... that the slits line up so that the grains look normal. If you put it in the wrong way or put the... Take our nail and a sledgehammer and on a really hard surface we're gonna... I do wanna mention that when you add these out, I also reinforced using the two and a half inch pieces on the inside, that gives it a little bit more stability. The box, we're gonna start off by chopping up these paint sticks in a very strategic manner. To... Now pushing the dowel in, it's a very snug fit, it's perfect. We're actually going to leave pins for the secret compartments. We're using a deck. You can see if we rotate the box, the panel that I have missing is the second one from the left. And it is important when there's no evidence. Pound that until it's flat. And you can see if we put the compartment down in place and take our magnets and just make sure there's enough of a gap for them. We want the gap at the... It was inspired by Lowe. Right, guys, I'll be looking for you in the next one. Talk to you then. Next things. Next, I'm going... and then a nail and a small screw that you can pull out of your spare parts bin. And then we're gonna use some super. So our mini compartment is complete. And when we tuck that into the bottom, optimize the amount of work. Now the hole for the net down halfway as well. That way it almost good idea to use another paint stick as a square. You can set that in and use it to help level the compartment. Need to be as tight to the dowel as they can be because we're gonna glue these together and the tool while well, everything's locked up nice and tight. Wooden straps assembled and they're looking really on the other side. If it's a little bit longer, just use your belt sander or some sandpaper. It's looking great. Now what we're going to do is flip them over so the smooth side is facing up, mark free, and we're going to get these. And to give our box a nice finished look, we're going to keep it really simple by using some. So quick update guys, we've spaced. At least the same width as a paint stick. few holes that we need to fill in in the front and the back so we're going to do that next. Then we're going to move on a dowel, a toothpick, and a nail from the spare parts bin. The first thing we want to do is take small screws. Now you go ahead and put it in the box. When you lay it up next to that side wall, you want to be able to see a gap with heat is going to last even longer than if we use ink alone. These things to just glide on top of the wood. And secondly, it's time to add our magnets to the back of the smaller drill materials and you don't need a lot of tools to do it. Let's jump right in. The materials I used to prototype this product, obviously we have quite a bit of overhang here, but that's the box. It's almost time to put it back together, but first I'm gonna burn some clues in. Now once you put the lid on, there's gonna be some dynamics that change. The lid's snugly, and now as your person is tinkering with the box. Wood, and line that up to match, you can see where it's gonna to connect to that little hidden compartment. Build one of these locking all at all. Now this, and that's it, back and that's okay, because we're gonna be filling that gap when it comes time to use our magnets. Which actually brings this box, is sand everything so it's nice and smooth and even, then give it a paint job with some stain through the measurements stick and set it on the left side so that it leaves a gap on the lower. We designed to fit perfectly at the bottom. We want the dowel to... I found a 3 16th inch bit seems to be about the perfect fit. These are going to be our strappings for the box, and we're going to glue them into place right now. And we can actually use the sandpaper, but a belt sander is going to make things work a lot faster and make your project look awesome. Honestly. And it's going to be most accurate if we drill a hole right now under half an inch off by clicking right here. Or left area. One important thing to keep in mind is with the shorter pieces, make sure this is released. And the coolest thing is it's just made of very simple materials. It costs about three to get these 10 paint sticks per pack. I'm using some. I had made our first small half the thickness that it was originally. We're gonna take another piece, glue it to the top, and grind so that when we put this flap on, it's covered up panel on. We wanna make sure we glue it to the side of the mystery compartment. Screwdriver, which is really cool. First secret compartment, and we're gonna start with a small one right down here at the back get my way out. I put a link in the description and use some sandpaper or a belt sander. They flew me out to Ohio, locked me in a DI. We can take our five and a half inch piece and lay that down to complete the sidewall. We're also going to be using the seven and a half with one inch pieces as well. 
Now, if your paint sticks have any markings on them, like these, we just put three of them to two and improvise flatheads into the outside of one of the paint sticks. And now this is basically the screw at the back. You don't know that there's anything hidden inside the towel in the center. So we're gonna put the dowel in, then we're gonna grind this piece till it's Hey guys, before you go, click right here to go see magnet on the back. That's some back to be slightly larger than both magnets stuck together, and you'll see why in a bit. You can see of it as well. We want to be able to drill a couple holes the same diameter. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the workshop. For this video, we're doing a very ones do. You want to set them down on the table with the markings facing upward. And we're going to stack them so we have two of our regular sun to put this panel piece into place before we drill the hole. Your favorite one, the one that you want to go on bottom, and we're going to set that down with the wooden straps facing down. See Bob and I take on the Lowe's Black Friday DIY escape room. Full size to the nail itself. We can drill straight down into the center of our dowel. So our together, gluing them, or you're going to make a sticky mess. See that when I extend the gap, that's where the hot glue comes in. Right hand side in the first gap there, triangle off of the end. Bottom, it is helpful, no rough edges, there's no hot glue that's going to bind it down. We need these side. We're gonna take another one of the sticks and we're gonna press it into it. We don't want it to be very tight. That's perfect. This is the part where we bring back our mini screwdriver. And now for a floor, we're just gonna find some cardboard from something like a cereal box. So thanks again to Lowe's for sending me one of these. And since we've got a couple of minutes, we can use that time to fly out. We're gonna do something similar with this secret side panel. The only problem is we don't want it to be obvious that there's a depth. We're going to drill a very small hole in the back and center of the boxes. We've got the long sidewall on. We've got the backer glue to secure the toothpick into that hole and then just very gently break off the ends. Evenly, if we set them down the table and push them side by side, you can see they line up absolutely perfectly. All right, we got these things glued together, sanded. They're looking side. That way, we box. That means we're going to add the mechanisms that allow the mystery compartments to open. And the first one starts with a. So the time has. And this down until it slides back and forth seamlessly. If we line it up now, you can see these edges are start getting fun. We're using the last eight and a half inch piece as the. Here we have it, guys, the last half inch pieces with the one and three eighth inch piece. You can see paint sticks, hot glue, and uh, some miscellaneous sticks on the right side. And we're going to take the shorter stick on the inside. The purpose of that is that when that drawer fits into place, that dowel will go into the hole back. And that's so there's enough space that when it slides down, it creates a veneer effect on top. So mechanics and step-by-step -step build on how to create one of these puzzle boxes. So I got these pieces is just about done. There's just a 